Right now, in this very moment, you're on the brink of something extraordinary. You can feel it, can't you? That tingling sensation in your body, that spark of excitement in your mind, it's not just hope or wishful thinking. It's the undeniable truth that everything you've ever wanted is about to manifest in your life. I know what you're thinking. How can he be so sure? Well, let me tell you why. It's because you're here right now listening to these words. You've taken the first step. You've opened yourself up to the possibility that your life can change, that you have the power to shape your reality. And that, my friends, is where it all begins. Think about it for a second. Every great achievement, every breakthrough, every moment of transformation in human history started with a single thought, a thought that said, what if, what if I could fly? What if I could cure this disease? What if I could create a device that connects people across the globe? These thoughts, these sparks of possibility, they're the seeds of every reality we experience. Right now, as you listen to my words, your brain is firing off millions of electrical impulses. These impulses are creating patterns, and these patterns are shaping your reality. It's not magic, it's science, it's the incredible power of your mind at work. Let me break it down for you in simple terms. Your thoughts create your feelings, your feelings drive your actions, your actions shape your reality. It's a cycle, a loop that's constantly in motion, and the best part, you have the power to control it. Think about the last time you felt really happy. Maybe you got a promotion at work or you fell in love or you finally mastered that skill you've been working on. Remember how you felt, that rush of joy, that sense of accomplishment. And here's the million dollar question. What if you could feel that way all the time? What if you could tap into that state of being at will? That's what we're talking about when we say everything you've ever wanted is about to manifest. It's not about waiting for good things to happen to you. It's about creating the conditions for those good things to occur. It's about rewiring your brain to focus on possibility instead of limitation. Your past does not define your future. Your current circumstances are not your destiny. They're simply the result of thoughts and actions you've taken up until this point. And if thoughts and actions got you here, then new thoughts and new actions can take you somewhere else. Let's do a little experiment right now. I want you to close your eyes for a moment, take a deep breath. Now, think about something you really want in your life. Maybe it's a new job, a loving relationship, better health or financial abundance. Whatever it is, see it clearly in your mind. Feel what it would be like to have that thing right now. Let that feeling wash over you. Open your eyes. How do you feel? Excited? Hopeful? Maybe a little scared? That's okay. That's your brain starting to rewire itself. That's the first step towards manifesting your desires. You see, when you focus on what you want with clarity and emotion, you're sending a powerful signal to your brain. You're telling it, this is important. This is what we're working towards, and your brain, being the incredible machine that it is, starts to look for ways to make that vision a reality. It's like when you buy a new car, and suddenly you start seeing that same model everywhere. The cars were always there, but now your brain is tuned to notice them. In the same way, when you focus on your desires, your brain starts to notice opportunities that were always there, but you might have overlooked before. But here's the thing. It's not enough to just think about what you want. You have to feel it. You have to embody it. You have to become the person who already has what you desire. This is where many people stumble. They say they want change, but they keep thinking, feeling, and acting the same way they always have. Remember, your body doesn't know the difference between a real experience and one that you vividly imagine. When you consistently think and feel as if your desire has already manifested, your body starts to believe it. And when your body believes it, it starts to change on a cellular level. This isn't just feel good talk. This is backed by science. Studies have shown that our thoughts and emotions have a direct impact on our biology. Positive thoughts and emotions boost our immune system, reduce stress. On the flip side, negative thoughts and chronic stress can literally make us sick. So when I say everything you've ever wanted is about to manifest, I'm not just trying to pump you up. I'm inviting you to step into a new way of being. I'm challenging you to break free from the habits and patterns that have held you back. Think about it this way. Every morning when you wake up, you have a choice. You can either run the same mental program you've been running for years, or you can choose to install a new one. You can wake up and immediately start worrying about all the things that might go wrong, or you can wake up and focus on all the amazing possibilities that lie ahead. 
It's not always easy, I'll give you that. Our brains are wired to look for problems, to focus on what's wrong rather than what's right. It's a survival mechanism left over from our caveman days. But we're not running from saber-toothed tigers anymore. We're not struggling for basic survival. We have the luxury of choosing our thoughts, of directing our folk. So how do we do it? How do we make the shift from living in lack to living in abundance? From focusing on what we don't want to focusing on what we do want. It starts with awareness. You have to become aware of your thoughts, your feelings, your habitual reactions. You have to catch yourself when you're slipping into old patterns. Here's a simple practice you can start right now. Every time you catch yourself thinking a negative thought or feeling a negative emotion, stop. Take a deep breath. Then ask yourself, what do I want instead? If you're thinking, I'll never get that promotion, stop. And ask, what would it feel like to be confident? in my abilities and valued at work. If you're feeling lonely, ask yourself, what would it feel like to be surrounded by loving, supportive relationships? The simple shift in focus can start to change your entire reality. Because remember, what you focus on expands. If you focus on lack, you'll see more lack. If you focus on abundance, you'll start to see abundance everywhere. But it's not just about positive thinking. It's about aligning your thoughts, your feelings, and your actions. It's about becoming so focused on your vision that you naturally start taking actions that move you towards it. It's about living as if your desires have already manifested. Let me give you an example. Let's say you want to become financially abundant. It's not enough to just think, I want more money. You have to start feeling abundant now. You have to start acting as if you're already financially secure. This doesn't mean going out and spending money you don't have. It means shifting your relationship with money. Instead of constantly worrying about bills, start appreciating the money you do have. Instead of saying, I can't afford that, start saying, how can I afford that? Instead of focusing on lack, start focusing on opportunities to increase your wealth. Start educating yourself about finances. Start looking for ways to add more value to the world. The same principle applies to any area of your life. If you want better health, start feeling healthy now. Start making choices if you're already the healthiest version of yourself. If you want a loving relationship, start feeling love now. Start treating yourself and others with the love and respect you desire. This is what I mean when I say everything you've ever wanted is about to manifest. It's not about waiting for some external event to change your life. It's about changing your inner world so profoundly that your outer world has no choice but to reflect that change. Manifesting your desires isn't about wishful thinking. It's not about saying a few affirmations and then going back to your old ways of thinking and being. It's about fundamentally changing who you are at a neurological and biological level. It's about creating new neural pathways in your brain, new patterns of thought and behavior. This takes time. It takes practice. It takes persistence. But here's the good news. Every time you choose a new thought, every time you choose a new emotional state, you're literally rewiring your brain. You're creating new neural connections. And the more you do this, the easier it becomes. Think of it like working out. The first time you go to the gym, it's hard. Your muscles ache. You get tired quickly. But if you keep at it day after day, week after week, it gets easier. You get stronger. You build endurance. The same thing happens with your mind. The more you practice directing your thoughts and emotions, the stronger your mental and emotional muscles become. And here's the really exciting part as you start to change. As you start to embody the person who has already achieved their desires, the universe starts to respond. Opportunities start to appear. Synchronicities start to happen. It's not magic. It's simply that you're now attuned to these opportunities. You're operating on a different frequency. I've seen this happen countless times in my workshops and seminars. People who have struggled for years with health issues, relationship problems, or financial difficulties suddenly experience breakthroughs. Why? Because they finally align their thoughts, feelings, and actions with their desires. They become the person who can receive what they've been asking for. So how do you start? How do you begin this process of manifesting everything you've ever wanted? It starts with getting clear on what you truly desire, not what you think you should want, not what others expect of you, but what truly lights you up inside. Take some time to really think about this. If you could wave a magic wand and create your ideal life, what would it look like? How would you feel? What would you be doing? Who would you be sharing your life with? Get as specific as you can. Write it down. Create a vivid picture in your mind. Once you have this vision, start to embody it. Start to live as if it's already a reality. 
This doesn't mean quitting your job if you want to be an entrepreneur or leaving your partner if you want a better relationship. It means bringing the energy of your desired reality into your current life. If you want to be an entrepreneur, start thinking like one. Start looking for opportunities to solve problems and add value. If you want a better relationship, start being the kind of partner you want to attract. Start treating yourself and others with love and respect. At the same time, start to clear out anything that doesn't align with your vision. This might mean letting go of limiting beliefs, toxic relationships or habits that no longer serve you. It might mean facing some uncomfortable truths about yourself and your life. But remember, growth happens outside of your comfort zone. Another crucial aspect of manifesting your desires is gratitude. Gratitude is like a magnet for miracles. When you're grateful for what you have, you open yourself up to receiving more. Start each day by listing three things you're grateful for. They don't have to be big things. It could be as simple as a warm cup of coffee, a comfortable bed, or a beautiful sunset. As you practice gratitude, you'll start to notice more and more things to be grateful for. You'll start to see the abundance that already exists in your life. And as you focus on abundance, you'll attract more abundance. Now, I want to address something important. This process of manifesting your desires, of creating a new reality, it's not always smooth sailing. There will be challenges. There will be challenges. There will be setbacks. There will be days when you feel like you're not making any progress. This is normal. This is part of the process. In fact, these challenges are often signs that you're on the right track. They're opportunities for growth, for learning, for becoming even stronger in your new way of being. When you face these challenges, don't give up. Don't fall back into old patterns of thinking and behaving. Instead, see them as tests. See them as chances to prove to yourself and the universe that you're committed to your new reality. Remember, the universe doesn't hear what you say. It responds to what you feel and what you do. So even in the face of challenges, keep feeling and acting as if your desires have already manifested. And here's a powerful secret. Learn to love the process. Don't just focus on the end goal. Find joy in the journey because the truth is, once you achieve one desire, you'll have new desires. It's the nature of human beings to always be growing, always be expanding. So if you can learn to love the process of growth, and transformation, you'll always be in a state of joy and fulfillment.